Hello guys, welcome back again, today we learn, how to create this. First of all we will create a new composition. We call it text. I'm using 1650 by 250 resolution, at 30 frame per second. Now we type the text. I'm using Montserrat black font. You can download it from below link. We will turn off transparency. We are going to create a new composition. We call it text animation. This time I'm using 3840 by 250 resolution. We will insert text composition. Then add CC Reptile effect on it. In Reptile effect, change expand right value to 10,000. Now change its alignment to the left. Then come here, and press P. Then add position keyframe. Now come at 10 second and change its value to negative. Let's preview it. Now deselect the text composition, then double click on rectangle tool. Press F4, to turn on toggle and switches mode. Then enable adjustment layer option. Now we will add wave warp effect on it. Now we will change wave type to, smooth noise, width to 55, Direction amount to 0 degree. Wave speed 0.2. At last quality, to medium. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And follow me on Twitter. Please give your one minute to check my Gumroad account. All the links are below. Now we will create a new solid layer for background. Then we bring it to down. We are going to create one more composition. We call it main. This time I'm using full HD resolution. Now we will insert text animation composition. Then we turn on 3D. We also add a camera layer. I'm using 15 mm camera. Now come here, and change view mode to, to view. Make sure title action safe is enabled. We will open the camera. Then in the point of interest, change the XY value to, 0. In position, change the XY value to, 0. We will select text animation composition, then press A, Shift P and Shift R. Now we will change the Y anchor point value to, 0. We will also change top view to, camera view to. We will press C. Now you can change the angle of the camera using different tools. We will return to text composition. In position, change the X Y value to, 0. We change Y rotation value to, negative 90. We've already created, this project for the practice purpose, so we know the exact position value, now we just fill it out. Change X position value to, negative 135. Y position value to, negative 129.5. Z position value to, 1216. We will use this plus sign, to check that all composition is at the center. If you composition is not in the center, then center it. Now we will change composition label color to blue. Then duplicate it. Change its color to orange. Again press A. Shift P and Shift R. Now change Z orientation value to, 270 degree. Then change Y rotation value to, positive 90. We will duplicate the blue composition, then bring it to up. Now again press A, 
Shift P, and Shift R. Now move to previous composition. As you see, its height is 250, so we will add 250 on current text position value. Now we will duplicate the orange composition, then bring it to up. Again press A, Shift P, and Shift R. Now we will add 250 to the Y position value. As you see, all the composition is almost in the center, but we will center it again. So we create a null layer. Then bring it down from the camera. Now we link all the composition to null layer. Then turn on 3D and press P. We will change X position value to 968.5. Change Z value to negative 5. Now let's preview it. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel and follow me on Twitter. Please give your one minute to check my Gumroad account. All the links are below. Now we will select all composition and duplicate it. Then bring it to down. Also unlink it. Now create a new null layer. Then link all the composition to null layer. Now press P. Then turn on 3D. Change Z position value to 3840. Actually this is the width of previous composition. Now we will create last composition. We call it RGB main. We insert the previous composition. Then open view menu, and change layout view to, view 1. Now we are going to add shift channel effect on it. In shift channel, we will turn off green, and blue color. Then duplicate the composition. Now we will turn on the green, and turn off the rest. Last time, duplicate the composition. Now we will turn on the blue, and turn off the rest. We select first two compositions, and change it blend mode to add. Now we will zoom in the timer line. Then move the second composition, one frame back, and the third, two frames back. Now we will insert overlay video. You can use any overlay video. Then we change its scale value. Something like that. Now change its blend mode to add. We will move to text animation composition, then hide the background. Now come back, and create a new solid for background. Now bring it to down, and let's preview it. Now we will add rotation. So let's move on to the main composition. Then create a new null layer. We will turn on 3D. Then come at first frame, and open the null layer. Then add Z rotation keyframe. Now come at 10 second. Change rotation value to 1. We will open transform option. And change XY position value to 0. Then link the camera with null layer. Now we will come back. And preview it. Our today topic is complete. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And follow me on my Instagram account. Please don't forget to leave your feedback. Your feedback is very important to us. We will meet on next tutorial, and be happy.